Well, a virus could be making people fat. That groundbreaking discovery made here in Wisconsin. Senior investigative reporter Courtney Garish found one of the first people to be diagnosed. She's here now with a look at the case that helped researchers identify the virus. Courtney. George and Carol, the lead researcher, coined the term infectobesity. A Wisconsin man, one of the first people diagnosed with the virus, calls it a miracle. I remember saying, boy, I, I just am so tiny. I wish I could gain some weight. Randy Voss grew up on a farm outside Peoria, Illinois. Always a skinny kid, something changed when Randy turned 11. Well, I was kind of a picky eater before and after that. You couldn't possibly, there was nothing I didn't like. And uh, you were hungry all the time? All the time. The pounds started to pile on. I just gained weight just every time when I turned around. As a teenager, Randy was 50 pounds overweight. It's hard to, it's hard to be different. You hide the fact that you're you're heavier than the other kids. As he got older, things got worse. In his mid-30s, Randy had a hard time keeping up his dairy farm in northwest Wisconsin. He weighed 345 pounds and could barely walk. I knew in the back of my mind, this is a losing battle. I'm going to lose this. I can't win this battle. And then Randy met this man, then a young scientist from India doing a fellowship at UW-Madison. This is an infection that you didn't ask for. Nikhil Durander was studying a virus he believed was making people fat. We call it hit and run phenomena. It is possible that it comes in, turns something off or something on. Adenovirus 36 or AD36 causes the body to produce more fat cells. The virus eventually leaves, but the damage is permanent. Treatment may be like any other type of obesity, not a special treatment for this um, for obesity due to viral infection. Durander tested Randy, who was positive for antibodies to AD36, meaning at some point he was infected with the virus. It's absolutely liberating. Randy finally had an explanation for the weight, which he still had to lose. There is no cure for obesity caused by a virus. Down to 190 pounds at one point, he was climbing back up the scale in his late 50s. Randy decided to have a gastric procedure. I had a little more energy so I could exercise better. I'm starting to feel normal. Now 165 pounds, Randy follows a strict exercise and eating regimen. Chickpeas and green peas mixed. It's just adds some crunch. If I stopped that lifestyle, that weight is out there around the corner, it would be back. Now 64, Randy can't believe he's still around to enjoy his grandchildren. I was just such a miracle I found out about it when I did. And Durantar was the first to discover a virus that causes obesity. George, today 10 other viruses have actually been reported. It's tough to say how many in the U.S. are infected with AD36 because the only people that are participating in research studies, those are the ones that are being screened for this. I guess the question I have is, do, do researchers have any idea how, how do you contract this virus? They're not exactly sure. In Randy's case, he was spurred by a rooster on the farm at 11, and he was really sick afterward. That's when his weight gain started, and he was hungry all the time. It's possible the infection is caused by that, but the researchers can't say for sure. And there is no treatment for AD36, so now the focus is on creating a childhood vaccine to prevent it. Wow, fascinating. Scary, though. Yeah, Thanks but it explains it. a lot. Yeah.